plays games with Steve. So, uh, I forgot I had the bike. <laughs> um, because off mic, I was like, when did you get the bike voucher? And he said, I think we, had, we got it in Cerulean or, uh, I think you get in Vermillion, actually. And Verm then, sorry, Vermillion, yeah, then you go back yeah. to Cerulean. Um, so, sorry about that. But, the, hey, you know what? No, there's no excuse. That I'm wasting your time. Uh, but more more, more, uh, more uh, time for episodes. Yeah. I know people like those longer episodes. I um, mean, the running shoes were a game changer. Yeah, honestly, the running shoes are, like, pretty fucking good. So it's not like it's that. And actually, you get more, you get more stuck on the bike. I kind of prefer the bike. Wow. And the, that biker's in like, this buddy, business. are you sure? Bikes are awesome. In this maze, it's a little annoying. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Hello. Um, anything else going on? What else is going on? Oops, oh, I hit my microphone, that's for sure. Um... Uh, it's now, it's like we're heading into the end of 2023. Mm. Really but not, don't say when. I won't. We always but, keep them on their toes. But it's funny because it's like the last time we, you know, we uploaded a playthrough of this was around New Year's. So I still can't fathom a new year yet. I'm still trying to finish the old one. Yeah, I mean, you and I both have so much going on in the last couple months, or yeah. the, our upcoming couple months that it's like I can't even. Think about yeah. a new year. I'm gonna do a con, and that's always like, that's like hectic until it's over with. Right, right. Yeah. What is your best-selling item? It changes. Well, like currently, yeah. like current these I don't, days. The uh, as of now, like uh, the, like one of the newest things I did was like that acrylic stand of Yamato and Ace from One Piece and uh -huh. Campfire. Yeah. People love that, and yeah. people like the uh, the the Gear Fifth uh, print. Oh, that one's too. great. Yeah, and I, w I wasn't sure if people were gonna go for that because I'm like, I don't want to draw this badass. I don't think of this as badass. I just want to make a bunch of homages to old cartoons and stuff. And mm -hmm. people went for it. I was honestly surprised. Uh, what do you think is the most popular thing you've ever made? In terms of sales or just sales? Sales. Sales, sales. I mean, I have been selling that King of the Hill Sailor Moon print for nearly ten years. Wow, and it still sells like hotcakes. It still sells fine, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. say like it never doesn't sell. Sure. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I like I trust me. Like having uh, having a piece of art that old makes me want to retire. It, uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, and you're, and you're like I'm not gonna redraw it either, right? I. Yeah, I kind of don't feel the urge to. It feels like, like, yeah, what's like, the point? Right? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, it's like, it's there. I'm like, I look at it now and I'm like, oh, I see some things. I'm like, oh, this isn't quite accurate to the King of the Hill style here. Like, some of my style creeped in here, but I'm like, is not that what you want in your art, though? Maybe. I, well, the whole point of it was to replicate the King of the Hill style. Ah, uh, I see. But I, see. I think if I were to remake it, maybe I would make it into an acrylic stand. Oh, uh, okay. Sure, sure. But. I think also I just don't want to bank on that. But though my most popular stickers at AX were all the crossover ones with King of the Hill. God, so. there's still oh all god, of these. like this is why this this route is hell. Mm -hmm. It is so long. Anyway, um, is there a, a print you made or something that you you were like, man, this is underrated? People, if they were smarter, this would sell more, or had better taste. I'm trying to think, because uh, I know, like, I did a No More Heroes one, and that's like a that very, one's great. Thank you, thank you. That yeah. one, it, it's it's that's like a very niche audience, mm -hmm. and I think it sells well for its audience. Sure. I would say. Um. I think I did one, I did a collab with a friend years ago, because mm -hmm. I, <laughs> one of the first prints I ever sold was like a redraw of like one of my oldest DeviantArt drawings mm -hmm. of uh, Star Wars, but One Piece. Oh, okay. Corny as fuck crossover. Sure. But I thought like, I don't know, like people like, because I remember I think at DeviantArt at the time, people were still liking like an old, like the old drawings of it. And I'm like, 
oh my god like this is like i did, had two versions like i had like one from like 2010 i'm like this looks bad and even like the one from like 2005 was still getting mics i'm like this is colored and co in colored pencil mm -hmm. so i was like why don't i do something new or that but like i'm not really a good painter so i asked my friend Cy to like do the colors for me sure but I, I, I drew it in the style of one of the old uh, one, uh, Star Wars posters. Mm -hmm. But I kind of I kept the One Piece characters kind of dressed like themselves. And like, do you oh. have a picture? Uh, yeah, I got. Which one do you want to see? I, I, I'll show you them all. Sure, both. Um, Are these on, on? Like you can see these online too. Yes. If people want to look these up, because I, 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 I've seen some artists who have like purged their deviant art, and I don't believe them. I think, I, I, I warts and all. Yeah, yeah. I think like because it, it's good to look back and see where you came from. You yeah. Know? Uh, but like I think the one thing I did is like I don't want to draw Luffy dressed up as Luke Skywalker or something. Yeah. I was like, this is a this is a One Piece poster in the style of a Star Wars poster. Okay. And I think because of that, I don't think it really connected with people. Ah. Uh. But I thought like. You know, my friend did like a tremendous job on the coloring. Sure. You know. Let's see if I could. Give me a sec, focus. I'm looking. But yeah, I think that was one I always thought. I'm like, ah, this one didn't really sell all that great. Mm. It had a had a. It was a niche idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I feel like. I feel like maybe maybe I'm wrong on this. It's only semi recently that even One Piece is like as popular as it is now. Oh yeah, that that's for sure. Yeah. Um, One Piece has always kind of been like my bread and butter for sure. But at the but there was times also I'm like I was like one of the only people drawing it. You know. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's like everyone draws it. Yeah. But here I'm gonna show you the one I drew in 2005. Okay. Okay, yeah. I like the Usopp. Thank you. Yeah. This is very cute, though. <laughs> seeing, seeing, like, your... your Because you... 2005, you'd be, what, like, 4, 15, 16? Uh, 16. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, How old are you right now? Uh, as of this record... Uh, as of uh, the day we're recording this, or as of when this is released? Oh, my God. What do you think I'm talking about right now, bozo? 34. Okay, yeah, there's not that big of a difference, age difference between us. Um, and then this is the one I did, I think, in 2010. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Changed gotcha. it up, oh, slightly. I see it's Rayleigh now. Yeah, Rayleigh. Yeah. I, I had, like, as Shanks as Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. And then, like, by then, Rayleigh came out. And I'm like, Rayleigh's... I think some people are like, oh, you should have kept it as Shanks. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, like, oh, instead of <laughs> uh, Roger as the Vader stand-in, I put in Dragon. Mm, I see. Like, it, it's one of those things too. It's a crossover. It's like, don't think too hard, because people be like, "Dragon is an evil." I'm like, yeah, I know. It's just it's putting the characters in the spot. Yeah. It's not meant to like be that deep. Right. Um, that's like when people are just like, "Does that make Peggy Hill tuxedo mask?" And I'm like, no, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't real. Yeah. These are cartoons. The cartoons dressed as in the cartoon. And then here's the last one I did. Where would Hank Hill have gotten the power of uh, Sailor Moon anyway? Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. uh, from his uh, dog Ladybird. His magical dog Ladybird. Mm. Now, it's been a while since I've seen the King of the Hill one. Did you give thought to who was who? Uh... To who's who to what? In the Sailor Moon Hank Hill one. Or uh, King of the did, Hill did I Did I think about it? Yeah. Um, a little bit. Like, my knowledge of Sailor Moon isn't that great. Sure. I think... Because, like, really the personalities don't match up at all. Yeah. But I think I was just like, who looks... I think kind of who, like, looks the best. Mm. I definitely think, like, I... Like, Dale has Sailor Mars vibes for sure. Mm -hmm. I would... I think Boom Hour was a given. Like, Boom Hour is definitely Venus. Mm -hmm. you know? I think just because... I don't know, because what? Venus was, like, a TV star and all that, right? Sure. So I thought, like, I don't know, Boom Hour is kind of, like, I don't know, semi-popular with the la ladies and stuff. So I thought, that's fitting. Bill as Mercury, no. <laughs> like there's, I don't think there's any connection there, but it looks good. Mm -hmm. 
But then it was like, well, you can't leave out Jupiter. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, but the the main group is four. Mm -hmm. But I thought, well, in the later seasons, Lucky becomes a character who eventually marries Luann. Mm -hmm. And he's sometimes like, you know, he's kind of like an honor an honorary member of the group. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing how many people don't recognize Lucky. I don't think I know what he looks like off the yeah. top of my head, to be honest. So many people either think it's Khan, mm. or they're like, why didn't you make it Khan? And I'm like, Khan's not their friend! Yeah. <laughs> uh, show me a picture of Lucky. Sure. Yeah, I don't know King of the Hill that well, to be honest. I watched it, but... I also think it's, it's a show a, I would he's appreciate a, he's a, late, a lot He's a later more season now. guy. Oh, I have no idea who the fuck that so is. So you probably don't even know who voices him. Who voiced him, I should say. Mm, voiced him, so they passed away, or? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's turn into a guessing game, then. I don't think you'll, I don't even know if you know who this person is, so. Is it, is it the one who passed away recently? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, then I guess if I don't know who it is, then. Who, why, then why do you say, you don't even know who voiced them? I, I, yeah. It's, uh, he's voiced by Tom Petty. So he was like a guest star character. Oh, okay. And Tom Petty just like kept coming back. To I him. see. Like, okay. Lucky wasn't in every episode, but he was like a semi-regular mm. towards the later seasons, so. Gotcha. Malik. Or Malik. I don't know. Okay. Fine. Now we're gonna, I now we're gonna, so many coughings. Now we're going to fight a bunch of coughings. Oh, boy. Almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, yeah, this stretch is rough. Yeah, because beyond this, there's not. I mean, once, because, well, we didn't even, did we even beat Sabrina? No. No. Okay. We haven't even, like, we haven't even sniffed the area around that gym, so. Is Sylphco? And even though, like, do you do Sylphco before or after Sabrina? You have to do it before because they lock off the gym. Ah, yeah, because Team Rocket's rocking all of the yeah. run. Mm -hmm. But we did we we beat everyone in the dojo, right? Yes, because yeah. we have Hitmonchan. Yeah, duh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Blow me away. Did you say blow me away? I think blown away. Not blown away. Blown away. Yeah. Blow me. There's a. I remember from Rob Paulson's podcast, he has an anecdote of uh, Don Messick um, when he was on Tiny Toons as uh, Hampton. Hampton, yeah. And like, I guess Don Messick infamously like would never swear or anything, and they they would always like try to get him to swear, like "Come on, swear!" And I guess one time as Hampton Pig, he just went "Blooby," <laughs> <laughs> which is a funny thought. Uh huh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> It reminds me of like the the Thundercats bloopers. You've seen those, no, movies, right? No. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, what's wrong, Lionel? I forgot my fucking line. <laughs> like, oh, they're great. Um, what the fuck is a simul flash? <laughs> um, you know, I've never seen Thundercats ever. It's fine. You don't need to. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> it's an old show from the eight. It, if anyone's getting angry that I told you you don't have to watch Thundercats. You've got to be like 45 years old. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Well, here. damn, people can watch this when they're 45. <laughs> we have That's... friends who aren't that far from 45. I, I just, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm thinking like, cause I don't give a shit. Uh, one of the, uh, in the oh, here we go. In the recent Transformers movie, mm -hmm. uh, there's a teaser. Oh yeah, it's not even a post credits one. Cause these days they, the things that used to be post, uh, uh, credits teasers they just put in the middle so mm -hmm. like everyone could go home yeah um they it, it sets up uh i guess a reboot of like gi joe for like a cinematic reboot okay and Is it I, the new transformers movie yeah rise oh, of the boy. beast okay and like I, I i i didn't really like like, I, I don't have nostalgia for G.I. Joe the way I do for Transformers, because Transformers kind of continued to, like, you know, always have some sort of, like... Relevance. Relevance in, like, the 90s and 2000s, while G.I. Joe 
kind of like had like start and go stuff there. Sure. But them setting up a GI Joe, like another GI Joe movie. And I just thought like, who under the age of 40 wants this? Mm. <laughs> Cause it's like, kids don't fucking, I, I, no, no, I, I don't want to say anything with authority, but I feel like kids don't like young kids don't care about GI Joe. Do they not? Do they I, not make them anymore? They, oh, anything that was a toy line is still a toy line now because it because adults buy toys. Mm. So they still make plenty of G.I. Joes for, like, adults and stuff. You I might be don't... surprised then. They might. Maybe. Kids probably still buy them. They're I... just guys with guns, right? Yeah, I think because, like, Transformers can still appeal to, like, younger generations. Hell, they still make Transformer cartoons for yeah. kids. That's true. I guess they don't make a ton of G.I. Joe cartoons. No. Yeah. And I remember being, like, a, a toy shop. And then, like, one of the men working there who was older than I am saying, like, yeah, and then, like, they set up G.I. Joe. I'm excited for that. And I'm like, yep, there's your target audience right mm. there. Someone who clearly watched that in the 80s. Yeah. It's just... I don't know. It'd be like... I don't know. It'd be like if they rebooted Beetleborgs. <laughs> okay, I would watch that. <laughs> I'd watch the shit out of that. As long as they have a blue Elvis? Yeah. Uh, I get our friend Elvis to play him. <laughs> Honestly, he'd do a great job. Yeah. I think he'd be for it. Yeah. Um... They're making another G.I. Joe. Like a new... I, like, they set it up, like, clearly it's like... Yeah, this is supposed to... It's... Like, it, it's like the Samuel L. Jackson Avengers equivalent, oh kind of like that. It's... Yeah, man. It's, it's the effects of the MCU, which... I was, like, thinking about the other day, I'm like... Like, has most of the enthusiasm for that just died now? I think, there, there I, has think, been a, I think a lot of it has died. Especially think, because a lot of them have been kind of shaky lately. I think also, you know, Rider Strike 2 has definitely kind of put yeah. things back. I know a lot of people, there's a lot of flack, rightfully so. Like, they're really mistreating their CGI people. Yeah. It's getting, it's, it's the, the VFX is starting to look really that, rough. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's going downhill, I think. Um, Which I think we always knew this, this time would come. I don't know. It really, I feel like everyone, including myself, was really into it pre Endgame. And then once Endgame happened, I think a lot of us were like, oh, yeah, is there going to be more after this? Oh. All right. Yeah. And like, there was like a few movies that came out afterwards. It's kind of like, yeah, you know, things are still, you know, clinging. And, but. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I did not see Ant Man. Uh, the new one or any of them? Uh, the new one. Yeah, I didn't see it either. Uh, I look like shit. I think. I, I think when I and I know we talked about these movies on Fire Red before. I'm sorry, folks. But like Thor: Love and Love and Thunder, I was just like, you know what? If if you guys are clearly acting like you're wasting your time, why am I wasting my time? Mm, yeah, I didn't see that one either. I'm basically done. Yeah. No, though I did like Guardians Three. Did you see Guardians of the Galaxy Three? Nope. I think it's worth a watch but i think those movies kind of i feel like they almost exist in their own kind of yeah universe i know they're you know they they cross over and they are a part of the cinematic universe but i think that i think that has to i think that's a test with the james gunn yeah you know. you know i don't really care about comic book movies anymore but uh i am curious to see you know under his uh, tutelage how these new ones will turn out dc you mean yeah because yeah. they're rebooting it again and yeah, DC I mean, needs it. <laughs> I mean, because The Suicide Squad is a great movie. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I really liked it. Then Margot Robbie carrying that cinematic universe on her back. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh... Man, I'm just thinking, like, I know, like, Fire, Fire Red and Leaf Green are a different story because a, a lot more Pokemon learn dark type attacks. But God, d does this original game not prep you at all for Sabrina? Do you not? Do you also not know about the the type split Gen three and the other games with physical and special attack? Oh yeah, that wasn't a thing till. No, uh, it is a. Th it, what happens in this is that uh, dark all dark type moves in this are special attack. Oh. It's awful because bite is is really good about it being you know uh, a physical attack uh -huh. move in later games. So like, for example, if you have a Pokemon that has strong attack but not special attack, but they have bite, 
they just get neutered because they ha it don't like so all the, all the types each type all the moves of that type are either physical or special um, not a mix and then it, I believe it's the gen after this that uh, it fixes it, or not fixes it, but makes it the modern day standard. Hmm. Um, it's something you don't notice until you like, you're all like, all right, let's use a bite, which normally does a great amount of damage. And you're like, this, oh, this blows. So even in these games, still Sabrina is, uh... Yeah. You pretty much I... have to just go in there just being like over leveled, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll be okay, but we'll, we'll see. You know, I've already forgot what I'm fighting. I, that, I'm, <laughs> Me hey, too. that little attention. Um, ah, yes. The Pidgeotto. God. I am so sick of seeing Pidgey's Pidgeotto coughings. coughings. Yeah. You know, I... There, yeah, there's I, no gimmick in this area. Yeah. It's, I mean, there are some bikers, I guess, but... Yeah. It's, it's, like it's, it's, story. it's rough. And Cycling Road's way more fun. Yeah. Yeah, because they're just full of yous. <laughs> <laughs> they like, my people. Yeah. Sun shining brightly on our heads. Blinding the other people around you. Causing many accidents. Yeah. Uh, sure. Once Charizard's gone, it becomes a crapshoot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a Wiggly Tough. Yeah, there we go. That's something. Oh, if this was the modern games, it'd be way it, it'd be weak to poison. But uh, are there any like fairy type assignments that like surprised you? Like um, like Meryl and Azumarill being fairy. Oh types. yeah, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. Because I always thought like, oh, they're the water equivalent of Pikachu. Yeah. Uh, it does make uh, I guess Whitney interesting now, right? Because if they did it. Or, yeah, if they did it now, I guess they wouldn't be normal type anymore. I guess Mill Tank still would be. Oh, yeah, because cause what, she had, like, Jigglypuff? Yeah, yeah. Remember how hard Whitney was in the original Gold Dude, Silver? Dude, she's fucking brutal. Yeah. I think, like, because was Rollout a rock type move in those games? Yep. Still, I just remember her just demolishing. Yeah, it's bad, because once it gets rolling out, you're fucked. But I think they nerfed her in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, right? Like, I don't remember. I think I, I feel like the Mill Tank doesn't know rollout, or they nerfed her. Uh, I don't know if they nerfed it. But yeah, normal ones are hard because they're so bulky. Uh-huh. Got so much hitchba. Yeah. Well, before you fight that other blonde. Yeah. I was gonna say, you could do it tomorrow, but I don't know if you were gonna like. Uh, nah, we can do it tomorrow. Okay. Alright, we'll find another blonde tomorrow. We'll probably have five Pidgeys. We'll see you then. Boy. Boy.